What you doing, champ? Oh, I don't know. Just having fun. Hi. Are you already? What? It's only one o'clock. What have you been here since midnight? Oh sure, sure, yeah. It's uh, it's interesting uh, because. Uh, Did you have this special made? Yeah, I'm the maker. <laughs> oh, you are the maker. Sure. Oh wow. Oh, you can uh, run it by your hands, huh? Yeah, it's a hand crank, what they might call a hand cycle. You can buy a hand cycle off the rack. Uh, a lot of them are really kind of low slung for racing for. Yeah. you know paraplegics mm -hmm. and stuff and yeah. uh, I'm not a paraplegic but I got some things in common with them sure. but uh, I developed this with a, a more upright position so I could see and so people could Where's see it? me yeah. yeah and so uh, that's neat you got your light oh yeah horn yeah. You got a it horn and, tail lights yeah and uh, for for this year I uh, did something uh, you know I was kind of building right. up to no, no, I, I uh, energized the second rear wheel, so this is oh, now I see. So it's dual. A drive, a drive also. Well, hmm. well, see, on these uh, uh, electric hub motors, you can install this on any bicycle. Uh -huh. The motor is right uh, uh, oh, laced it's into, inside the thing. Uh huh. It's a hub motor. It's it's built right into the wheel, and it's brilliant. Those they're brilliant for that reason. No kidding. And it's yeah. electric. It's electric. And Where do you have your battery? Well, it's, it's down below. I put it very low for the, okay. the center of gravity, down low. Yeah. And uh, I put a second battery down there. So there's now two batteries. Yeah. If, if you go behind, you, wanna, you can really see how, yeah. how large. Uh -huh. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, yeah. But uh, the thing I did differently this uh, year, because I was kind of building up to it, uh, to go in the snow is I put yeah. a second hub motor on the other wheel. So now it's dual rear wheel drive. I like your tag, Price King. Sure, sure. Yeah, it's good. Oh it's sure. Good. It's it's uh you know pretty anti status and you know I'm a Christian anarchist. I am too. I'm good. a Christian. But good. I, I, I you're a Christian what? Anarchist. Anarchist. Now what is that? Well it just means that, you know, if Christ is your king then Caesar is not. Caesar is not. Caesar state. and the state. Yeah. You know, the states and the kingdoms of the world are hostile. Yeah. And, uh, you know. Yeah, I, I like to watch Christian television. Right. And, and um, I seen a guy, he, he looked about like you, and he was on a big ship, but it was not a big, big ship. I mean, it was a, a ship that sailed, but it didn't have sails on it. And 
he was steering. It was a wooden ship that probably it was it was as long as from here to those piles of down there. It, it was maybe uh, 50 to 60 feet long, you know, uh -huh. maybe longer than that. I don't know, a little longer than that. What was he doing? It was pretty long, but he was over in Israel, not in Israel. In uh, where the well, it was on Old Israel. It's where the the uh, um, oh, what's that river? Euphrates. Huh? Euphrates, Nile. No, it's over in. Ah, uh, uh, tig uh, ti uh, Tigris. Is it? No, it's not Tigris. It's, uh, Euphrates, Tigris. That's all biblical. It runs ancient. into the Dead Sea. It runs out of the the Red Sea into the Dead Sea. On, on one side, where, in, in the area of where they crossed, God separated the water. Sure. Know? And uh, on one side, he found a, a pillar that was buried in the ground. It was, it had, and for time, it had, you know, got buried. So he, he rose it, got it up. Yeah. Okay. Right over there, right down there is the fourth car. So anyway. Uh, anyway. They, uh, this guy found those pillars and he, he raised those pillars up, one on either side of what, the Euphrates River, the Re Euphrates, I think it is, I'm not sure. But anyway, um, and uh, he went down into the deep sea diving, you know. Sure. With a, with a suit on, and he found some chariot wheels. Huh. In there, that was where God had separated the water. Sure. He found some chariot wheels that were buried, and hmm. all, and then he found another one that was gold, a gold wheel. Huh. And this actually happened. So that just proves that it's you know a lot of a lot of people think well, well that's just somebody make that up. Well, that goes into the point I'm talking about is yeah. that God didn't condone the uh, state of Egypt and Pharaoh, he was like the Caesar of that yeah, time, yeah. of, uh, you know, coercing and yeah. putting people in bondage. Anyway, I know you got to go, but uh, here's, if you got uh, the internet, here's my uh, YouTube channel, and it uh, has videos and stuff about this project and many others, a little bit on Christian anarchy, and yeah. the tract in here talks a little bit about it. it yeah. It's just about Everything uh, uh, is better when it's voluntary. Christ's yeah. kingdom isn't about coercion and no, force. No, but no. that's the foundation of the state. It's, yeah. it's do it or else give us your money or we're going to put you in prison or, or, yeah. or shoot you. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's, that's the bottom line on the state. It's no different than you know the ancient uh, Lord world. Lord Lord, man. Peace be with you as well. Yeah. He is. He does. He's, sure. He's every day with me. Uh, it's awesome. It's awesome. He's an awesome God. That's a puny word for, for, for describing God. Right, you yeah, know, we can't really awesome. express. That's the only word I know. Yeah, that yeah. comes close. God is good. Good to see you. Thank you. Hey there, need a ride? <laughs>